Welcome now to a presentation of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, celebrated this Sunday for those who are unable to actively participate. Today's Mass is sponsored by the Sarah Club of Omaha in cooperation with WOWT NBC Omaha. The Sarah Club thanks the following advertisers and sponsors for their generous support in presenting the Mass for shut-ins. The Sarah Club also thanks all those individual donors that make this program possible. Good morning. We are pleased to share with you the Mass of the Roman Catholic Faith. We especially invite you who are homebound or hospitalized to join in spirit all the faithful worshiping today. Our presiding celebrant is Father Dave Korth of Sacred Heart Parish in Omaha. He, assisted by, he is assisted by our lectors, Aaron's John Fitzpatrick and Tim O'Neill. Our musicians are from Creighton Prep. Singers Max Mangan and Isaac Hang. The pianist is Cecilia Jensen with music director, Mr. Rob Chesser. And I'm your commentator, Tom Haller. Jesus willingly embraced the cross out of his merciful love for each one of us in order to set us free from sin. We must always put him first and follow him in order to share in his glory and victory. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so pre prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With, with the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit and in the glory, glory of, of God, God the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Who can know God's counsel, or who can conceive what the Lord intends? For the deliberations of mortals are timid, and unsure are our plans. For the corruptible body burdens the soul, and the earthen shelter weighs down the mind that has many concerns. And scarce do we guess the things on earth, and what is within our grasp we find with difficulty. But when things are in heaven, who can search them out? Or who ever knew your counsel, except you had given wisdom and sent your Holy Spirit from on high? And thus were the paths of those on earth made straight. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. Our responsorial psalm this morning is, In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every, In every age, age, O Lord, Lord you, have you have been, been your refuge. refuge. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every, In every age, age, O Lord, Lord you, you have been, been our refuge. refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wilts and fades. In, In every age, O Lord, you, you have been our refuge. refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. 
Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In every, In every age, O Lord, Lord you, you have, have been, been our refuge. refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may the gracious care of the Lord, our God, be ours. Prosper the works of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. In every, In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Philemon. I, Paul, an old man, and now also a prisoner for Jesus, urge you on behalf of my child Onesimus, whose father I have become in my imprisonment. I am sending him, that is, my own heart, back to you. I should have liked to retain him for myself so that he might serve me on your behalf in my imprisonment for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your consent so that the good you do might not be forced but voluntary. Perhaps this is why he was away from you for a while, that you might have him back forever no longer a slave, but more than a slave, a brother. Beloved, especially to me, but even more so to you, as a man and in the Lord. So if you regard me as a partner, welcome him as you would me. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to you, God. God. Be with you. And with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, this one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops. But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, any one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. So I must say, as uh, a person who has to do a, a great deal of fundraising uh, because of my role as the president of the Q Q's school system, which is three inner city grade schools uh, here in Omaha, um, where 92% of our students are below the poverty line and they can't afford tuition. So we have to raise that money for them. Um, I must say that that line, that last line of the gospel is, is okay with me. Um, in the same way, any one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. I'm, I've been talking with all the Sarens that are here tonight, uh, helping with this mass, and I've, I think I've got them ready to give away all their possessions in, in say, for the sake of cues. So, okay, I'm just kidding. Um, I really don't think we can take a literal, literal approach to that. But anyone that wants to give to cues, you know, please feel free. The one thing that really stood out to me about this gospel 
the one that's really, it's hard to take is at the beginning, he says, if anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, even his own life cannot be my disciple. Oftentimes we think of the word hate as a very, very uh, strong emotional word. But that's not what this is intended in Jesus' use or our gospel uh, uh, writer, St. Luke. But he was, St. Luke was heavily influenced by the Greeks. And the Greek understanding of the word hate, really it, it means more like um, really uh, an undivided attention. So if you insert that in there, if anyone comes to me without an undivided attention to me, let's say not focused on father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, or even your own life, if you're, if you're one of those things takes the place of me, then you're not ready to be my disciple. So let us look into our own lives this week and just say, what are those things that we have a hard time uh, letting go of. Maybe it's some of our possessions. Maybe it's our relationships. We all live in a society now here in the United States, a divided society, a society that um, many people are spending more time watching 24-hour uh, news channels than they are listening to the gospel being preached to them. And unfortunately, what those channels do is they tend to have you take one side or the other. But we, as Christians, are called to put Christ first, to have that undivided attention on Jesus, not on this party or that party, but on Jesus. So let us strive this week to embrace the role, the call of Jesus to follow him to follow him and look for those things that unite us as opposed to those things that divide us and separate us from one another. Together, let us proclaim that I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came, came down, down from, from heaven, heaven and by, by the Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, Mary and, became and became man. man. For our and sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He, he suffered, suffered death, death and was buried and rose again on the third day, day in accordance with the scriptures. scriptures. He, he ascended into heaven, heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. He, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now bring our prayers in the form of petitions before our God. For the church, that is the visible community of faith, hope, and love, Christ's message of salvation will be delivered through us to all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all seminarians who have returned to their studies. We pray for all priests, ordained ministers, and all those in religious life. We pray that they will always know of our love and support of them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those suffering, are sick, or in distress. May they be comforted by those who are caring for them and be encouraged by our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer for all travelers on this Labor Day weekend. May they be safe as they spend time in, away from their labors. Allow them to reflect on all of the blessings the Lord has given to them as they enjoy peace with friends or family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. 
Let us pray for the needs of this community, our sponsors and supporters, and for you, our viewers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all those who have gone to their eternal rest. May they uh, be enjoying all eternity in heaven. And we ask you to hear all these prayers we bring before you with faith and confidence through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your support of the Mass for Shut-Ins. Since 1964, your prayers and generosity has helped the Sierra Club of Omaha bring the Mass to so many. We continue to pray for first responders, caregivers, and for the health and safety of all priests. The Sierra Club of Omaha thanks you again as we continue on our mission to support and pray for an increase of vocations to the priesthood and consecrated religious life. With the spiritual intercession of our patron, St. Junipero Serra, the Liturgy of the Eucharist begins now. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth is given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in, our, in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. Of the world. Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Grant Rest us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not I am worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, my roof, but only say, say the word and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Here at the table of plenty. Oh, oh come and sit at my table where saints and sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that they may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Please join us as we recite the Sarah Prayer for Vocations. O God, o God who wills not, not the death of a sinner, sinner but rather that he be converted and live, grant we beseech you through the intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, Saint Joseph, her spouse, 
St. June of Parocera, and all the saints, an increase of laborers for your church, fellow laborers with Christ, to spend and consume themselves for souls through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We thank you for joining us today in this great prayer of Jesus. It is a prayer that unites people throughout the world. We invite you to recite the Sarah Prayer for Vocations. If you would like a prayer card, contact us through WWT. And please join us for the Mass for Shunnids next Sunday morning at 1030 on Channel 6, WWT. I'm Omaha Archbishop George Lucas. The Sarah Club of Omaha, in cooperation with WOWT NBC Omaha, began airing the Mass for shut-ins in 1964. Each week the Mass is viewed by thousands in Nebraska and Iowa on WOWT and is also seen online by many others worldwide. Please know we are praying for you as you watch in your home or in other places, including retirement centers and in hospitals. We are indebted to our supporting sponsors, to so many parishes, and to you who for years have remembered the Mass with your prayers and gifts. We ask you for your continued support in order to serve all of our viewers. Thank you for your generous assistance, and may God bless you and your family. You've been watching the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, brought to you as a public service by the Sarah Club of Omaha in cooperation with WOWT NBC Omaha. We hope you will join us again next Sunday for the Mass for Shuttings.